Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. As usual, I do hope that you're keeping well and safe in the time of the pandemic and that you do enjoy the content I'm still providing at the moment. I do hope that it has been very informative and enjoyable for your watch as well and that it's helping you out in the game. And I do appreciate all those who have been liking, commenting and subscribing to the videos and anyone who's new to the channel, please make sure to do the same, like, comment and subscribe give your opinion on my videos. I like to engage, I like to read your comments, I will respond to them, I will like them and give them hearts and everything like that, so please make sure if you're new to the channel that you do subscribe. It really does mean a lot to the channel and it really does help the channel out and it does cheer me up as well and it will keep spurring me on to keep on creating more and more content, especially as now I'm actually about to go back to work. So I'm going to try and do my best to keep on top of it and produce a lot of videos in bulk ready to be uploaded throughout the weeks. So make sure you hit that like, comment and subscribe. So obviously from the title and from the screen that you saw a moment ago, I've been offered the Marshalship to the Kingdom of Rodox. So obviously this is a very big position in the Kingdom and you, it's a position that you can't really turn down if you're wanting to take more land, more castles or towns or if you're hoping to get any more villages from the king because if you turn down this uh, it's more of a kind of offer <laughs> but it's an offer that you have to take it's almost like a godfather moment you have to take this opportunity otherwise he will actually look down on you and he won't give you any more territory when you request it so it is a case of you do have to take this offer unfortunately at times unless you're not wanting to take any more land. So how do you become Marshal? So one of the main things I believe that you have to have is obviously a good relationship with the King and like a lot of the game you have to have a high renown. If you don't have a high renown you're not going to get the offer so it's a case of you're going to have to get in battles, you're going to have to take territory, you're going to have to do jobs for the Kings, Lords, everything like that. So it'll work out on relationships with the king, other lords, and your renown and your relationship to the actual kingdom. Are you doing anything for the kingdom? Do you deserve this title as well? That is the main thing. If you think that you haven't been offered the marshalship, it will most likely be due to any of these reasons. Another reason sometimes is just the current marshal is enjoying being the marshal and hasn't got anything to take his attention away from being a marshal so that's what you saw in that little paragraph then it's a case of if you then become indisposed or you need to take time away from the battlefield or taking on a war then it's a case of that's when you can reject the or give back the title of the marshal and the king will find someone else to become marshal so this is not a title I actually requested which is something you can do when the marshalship has been given up by another lord. You can talk to the king and other lords and say who deserves it. So this isn't something I've asked for, but obviously it's the respect of the lords and the king at the moment that I am a lord of high renown, high regard, and a, bat a seasoned battle warrior and a leader. So you've got to have, like I say, you've got to have high relations with Lord Kings and you've got to have high renown. The high renown is the biggest thing in this game. If you want to take land and be given it by the King, or if you want to have more pull on the Kingdom, you need to have high renown and good relations. So how do you assemble a war party as the Marshal? So to do this, you need to go to your party list, ask one of your companions in your party to take a message to all the lords of the realm that you want to create an army under yourself and go to battle. So to do this, you need to click on them, ask them to go like this, and it will give you an option to ask for all the lords or just a few of the lords. If you're really wanting to take territory, really wanting to take the big towns that are going to be heavily garrisoned, or go into territory where there's going to be a lot of lords concentrated, you could do with the majority of the lords. But remember that if you take all the lords, there's a good chance that a lot of them will either leave you to go and protect their lands, or eventually get kind of bored, I think. 
that's one of the main things. So remember, sometimes you don't have to want to take them all, but it is always good to take them if you need them. So in the words of Game of Thrones, call the banners. All of them. So sort of Game of Thrones reference there, obviously, because we're Ned Stark here, and we are the Marshal now. We're not king, not yet. That's something for the future. And to celebrate being a marshal, I raided that village earlier, got a lot of stash. That's one of the best stashed villages I've ever had. And then I decided I'm get, going to get into a couple of battles. And this is quite a short video anyway. I didn't need to drag this on. I wanted to show you and give you a little bit of information on how to become the marshal for the kingdom. So I'm going to shut up for a little bit of the, what's remaining of the video and let you watch this battle. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I hope you found it informative on how to become the marshal. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Comment your opinion. Is there anything I've missed? Or is there something you think you should concentrate on when becoming a marshal? And like I say, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It really does make a difference. It really does cheer me up and it makes a big difference to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be another video very soon.